Phew! Man, that was some lunch. Thanks for taking me out, Rarity. I never knew that you actually knew a whole bunch of exclusive clubs and stuff. Of course, darling. You know that I have friends in high places. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> well, Rarity, so tell me something. Why are we at Sugar Cube Corner? Well, Pinkie Pie wanted to introduce you to somebody. Oh, well, okay. Do you know who it is? Hmm, she never told me anything. All she said was is that it was somebody who you might like. Oh, well, okay. Um, that's just definitely going to be weird. Well, let's see. Um, knock, knock. Pinkie Pie, we're here. Huh? Oh, hey, Flame, Rarity, you made it. Yep, <laughs> we're here. Sorry it took us so long. It t definitely took us a long while to finally get from wherever it is we came from. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, we're here. Yep, I see that you are. Anyway, come on in. Okay, I'm coming in. Uh, so, where's this mysterious person or pony you want me to meet? She's right here. Come on in, Maud. Oh, <laughs> Well, this is definitely something, and who is Maud? This is my sister, Maud Pie. Wait, your sister? I know, right? <laughs> she really is amazing. Um, hello, Maud. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Hi. It's really nice to meet you, too. <laughs> well, that is, uh, definitely something. So, what's with, so, um, <laughs> I, uh, this is a little bit awkward. Well, it's really nice to see you again, Maud. It's nice to see you too, Rarity. You haven't changed a bit since the last time I saw you. <laughs> so, you guys already met? Yes, Pinky introduced us a few years ago. And, well, we just been really close every so often. You see, Pinky, she actually wanted all of us to get along with ba Maud. But sadly, none of us can, you know, succeed at getting along pretty well. Because, well, Maud doesn't really share the same interests that we do. Oh, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. But in the end, we all share one thing. And that would be the love for Pinkie Pie. I do love my sister very much. I'm not the one to show much affection, but... I really do love Pinkie. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, Pinkie is one very lovable pony. Aw, shucks! <laughs> well, can you blame us, Pinkie? We do love you a lot. You're just so fun and you're always putting smiles on people's faces. <laughs> Uh, Maud, are you okay? Something's in the wind. It's the smell of igneous and rock and rubble. Oh, did I forget to dust off my hooves? No, it's in your mane. Huh? Oh, you mean, hold up, give me one moment, give me one moment. Uh, you mean this? A rock? What are you doing with a rock? Oh, believe it or not, it's quite silly, but, uh, <laughs> it's my pet rock. Flame, you have a pet rock? Yeah. <laughs> Flame, darling, you have a pet rock? <laughs> yes, I just said yes, I have a pet rock. Oh my gosh. That's quite nice. I have a pet rock, too. His name is Boulder. Huh, that's interesting. My pet rock's name is Rubble. Rubble? Yeah. Perhaps me and you can schedule our pet rocks for a play date. Well, let's leave them here so that way they can get to know each other. Here you go. And there's, there's Boulder. Okay. Well, so, Maud, can you please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? I grew up with Pinkie Pie. Plus, not only that, we actually grew up together at the rock farm. 
Oh yeah, Pinky, I forgot. You did tell me that you used to live at a rock farm. Uh-huh, I used to work at a rock farm with my family. You see, there's my... See, there's Maud, there's me, and my other two sisters. Limestone Pie and Marble Pie. Oh, well, do you think I get to meet them? I don't really know. Marble Pie, she doesn't really talk much, and... And, uh... <laughs> Limestone Pie, she's a little bit of a hothead. Oh, well, okay. Um, okay, well, it seems like, um, I don't know what to say about that. But anyway, it seems like Maud over here is the most sane out of all of you. Well, yeah, I kind of was an outcast of my family. Because, you know, I like partying and all that other stuff, but my family, they were just really interested in rocks. Mainly rocks. That's how they made a living. Oh. Well, okay. That's definitely something. Yep. Me and Maud were really close friends. And, well, sister friends. And, another thing, we actually share a tradition every single year. And that would be? Making rock candy necklaces. Oh. Rock candy necklaces? Huh. That's quite interesting. Yep. Every so often, we always make rock candy necklaces, and we always trade. Oh, so you guys trade rock candy necklaces? Interesting. To tell you the truth, I never actually had rock candy. What? You never had rock candy? No, because when because I heard that uh, rock candy is really, really hard on the teeth. And I do not want to take that risk on, uh, you know, breaking my teeth. Well, okay, I really don't blame you. I mean, rock candy is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to break any of my teeth. Anyway, so, um, Maud. So, Maud, I, Pinky tells me that you are actually really good with rock studies. With, really good with rock study. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I also heard you're a professional rock cutter. Yep, there's no type of rock she can't bust through. Whoa, that is definitely something. Well, there is one type of rock that I don't think Maud can bust through, and that would be jewels. Or, or in particular, diamonds. Well, that is true. Diamonds are practically indestructible. It takes a lot of force and pressure to break a diamond. Trust me, I know. <laughs> well, trust me. It really does take a lot of time and effort into breaking a rock. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you on that. Also, by the way, what is that around your neck? Huh? Oh, this? This is my, uh, medallion. It's my medallion. You see, my mother, she gave it to me before she passed on. It contains a lot of power. In fact, without it, I don't have my powers anymore. But with it, I'm really powerful and strong. I have the ability to control fire and everything. It's made out of a special crystal. It's made out of a very, very special crystal. But here's the thing. No one really knows where that crystal is. No one knows where it is. Because, you see, my, uh, my mom, she actually got this crystal. Because, you see, my mom, she actually made this crystal. She made the necklace out of a very special crystal, a fire ruby. But nobody really knows what ever happened to the, uh, fire ruby. I have a fire ruby, but... It's not the one that my necklace came from. Hmm, quite interesting. You mind if I take a whiff? A uh, whiff? Yeah, Maud can definitely tell a difference if it is a ruby or not, just by smelling it. Whoa, that is uh, a little bit weird, but cool. Anyway, you can go ahead and take a whiff. <laughs> yes, that is definitely a ruby. That is a ruby. <laughs> well, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> that's my necklace, and like I said, my mother gave it to me before she passed, but luckily, thanks to my powers, I was able to bring her back, so, yeah. If she, if she gave it to you before she passed, 
Why didn't you give it back to her? Well, it's kind of complicated. It's kind of complicated. She actually let me keep it. She actually let me keep it because she said she didn't need it anymore. Because ever since I brought her back, she can use her powers without her necklace. So she gave it to me. <laughs> she let me keep it. That is quite nice of her. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, Maud, what, what do you like to do for fun? Like, what do you like to do? Study rocks, break rocks, skip rocks, play with boulder. Oh, well, that's really interesting. <laughs> but, you know, I do specialize in other type of rocks besides, you know, uh, jet, besides these types of rocks that you're used to. You see, the type of rocks that I'm used to are rocks called emeralds and uh, special gemstones. And special gemstones. They're otherwise known as the Chaos Emeralds. They're back in my world. Ah, oh, yes, the Chaos Emeralds. I believe you told me about them, darling. You see, Maud, the Chaos Emeralds are very, very powerful gemstones that come from Flame's world. They contain very, very unique powers that control both time and space. There's seven individual emeralds, but one can definitely power up something. Yeah, the Chaos Emeralds are mainly used, they're mainly used to supply energy and some type of lots of other stuff. That's why most people are always looking for them. And <laughs> it's quite interesting. You see, another thing about the uh, Chaos Emeralds is that it all they actually do work. It all depends on how you use them. See, if you're... Because, see, if you're evil... Because, see, if you're evil then the, and you use the Chaos Emeralds, the Chaos Emeralds will, you know, use... Will, um... <laughs> let's just say the results will be catastrophic. But if you're good like me... But if you're good like me, and I use the Chaos Emeralds, a miracle will happen. In fact, lots of miracles happened with the Chaos Emeralds. Like, it can turn me and my brother Sonic super, it can fuel, it can fuel, um, our machines, and, above all that, it can even bring people back to life. It can bring people back to life? Yeah, it, they can. It's really cool. It's really interesting. Do you have the Chaos Emeralds with you? No, unfortunately, I don't. I don't have the Chaos Emeralds with me. With me right now. They're back in my world. Ugh. In fact, it's going to take me a while to uh, get back to my world. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm stuck here for a little while. Oh, well, that's fine, darling. You can stay with me. Well, thanks, Rarity. I don't, I don't mind uh, staying with you. Anyway, um... Anyway, um, so, Pinky, uh, what other things do, do you and Maud like to do? Well, I do remember this one time I really wanted to buy this pouch for Maud. I thought she would like it. And believe it or not, she did like it. However, I did, tr I did actually have to trade something with this sleazy pony. I had to trade something very, very special to me. And that would be... My party cannon! Oh yeah, I do remember that! And Rarity, you told me about that, didn't you? Yes, Pinky really wanted to get that special pouch for Maud, so she traded her party cannon. Yeah, man, that must have been really hard, giving up something very special to you for somebody equally as special. Yeah, it was really hard. Pinky... You really did do really good, but I, but I didn't, but, but you know, <laughs> it is definitely hard to part with your party cannon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was really hard to part with my party cannon. I really miss it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you wanted, I could always build you a party cannon. You know, I have tons of materials. Thanks a lot. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> You can actually build me another party cannon? Yeah, of course. I can build you a party cannon. Aw, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I can even build other party-themed weapons for you. Aw, thanks, Flame. I appreciate that. Yeah. 
And I think I might do the same thing for your EG self. By the way, speaking of which, Maud, have you met your uh, Equestria girl counterpart yet? No. What is she like? She's pretty much like you. She's pretty much like you. <laughs> and what's kind of funny, and what's kind of funny is that this one time when it snowed, she got dosed with snowballs and it didn't even phase her. I would have done the same thing too. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised how I'm surprised how she was able to get dosed with snowballs and she didn't even flinch or anything. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Hey, what's going on with our pet rocks? Huh? What's going on? Oh, it looks like my rock and your rock there having a great time together. Huh, that looks really interesting. Looks cool. Flame. I don't think that they want to become friends. What? What do you mean? I think they want to become more than friends. I think they want to get together. What the world? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Rubble. Easy there. Easy there, Rubble. I mean, I know you just met Boulder and everything, but wow. I can just hear the rolling of little itty bitty boulders. What the world, Mod? <laughs> Whoa, they just met. Do you honestly think that my rock and your rock will get together? It's only a matter of time. You can't separate true love. Yeah, that is true. That's almost like me separating. That's like almost someone trying to separate me and Rarity. I don't want that. Of course not. Even I don't want that. I want to be with my flamey wamey. <laughs> And me too. I want to be with Rarity. She is, she is the apple of my eye. Aww, thank you. <laughs> I mean, she is a very, very fashionable pony. I mean, come on, look at this dress. And not only that, she actually, ha she actually loves making dresses like me. Well, I just create clothes in general, not in particularly dresses, but still. <laughs> That is quite nice. Tell me, Flame, are you able to break rocks? Yeah, of course. I can easily destroy rocks with just one punch. With just one punch, I can easily destroy a rock. Wow. Do you think you can demonstrate? Hmm. If only I had a rock or something. If only I had a rock or something. Here you go. Whoa, uh, Pinky? That's a really, really big rock. That's a really, really big rock. I don't think I can do this. Please, Flame Darling. For me. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Mod, get ready. Because here we go and... <clears throat> <laughs> Still got it. Whew. Whew. <laughs> that hurt my hoof a little bit, but everything's all good. Uh, Mod? Mod? Hello? Oh my gosh, she's frozen! Uh, Mo uh, Pinky, do I need to call a doctor or something? No, 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 just give her a few moments. The last time she seen, the last time this happened, she was really impressed at how well I actually crushed a rock. Um, okay. Well, uh, this is definitely weird. This is definitely weird. Uh, Spinky, I really hope I didn't break your sister or anything. No, you didn't. Like I said, this happened before when I busted a rock. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I'm over here panicking. Flame? Yeah? That was quite impressive. Um, y thanks. <laughs> All my years of breaking rocks, I have never seen a pony able to break a rock with just one punch or just one kick. That is very, very impressive. 
Um, thanks, Mod. It's, uh, really cool. <laughs> I'm really glad that you like it a lot. I'm glad you like it. But I really do got to be careful because that's, because sometimes, uh, because sometimes, you know, my hands can have a weakness, but it's a good thing I do manage, it's a good thing I do punch with my metal arm. Wait, Flame, you have a metal arm? Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. You see, long story short, I actually got into this great big fight with this guy and my arm got cut off. My arm got cut off. I was in the hospital for a few days, and then uh, Eggman and Tails worked together to uh, build me this new metal arm. <laughs> it actually has a disguise mode. It actually has a disguise mode. See, right now it's in the disguise mode. It's because it looks like my normal hoof. It looks like my normal hoof, don't you think? Yeah, it actually does look like your normal hoof. <laughs> it looks quite nice. Yeah, it does look really cool. And it actually works well, too. See, check it out. See? <laughs> and, ow, my hand still hurts a little bit from that rock. Uh, anyway, so, Mod, again, you're really impressed with my rock-busting skills? Yes, I am. You ought to come help us at the rock, at the rock farm. I'm sure Mother and Father and my sisters would really be impressed. <laughs> Yeah, let's just hope they don't freeze up like you did. Let's just hope they don't freeze up like you did. Yikes. And if they do, the last time I seen them do that, that they got frozen the first time I ever showed them my party. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. You told me that was your cutie mark story. Uh-huh. I wanted to do something to bring smiles and, and happiness all around my family. And after when I saw Rainbow Dash's Sonic Rain Boom for the first time, and it curled up my mane, I actually had an idea. That was the first time I ever smiled and saw colors. That was the first time I ever saw. I, that was the first time I ever saw colors and smiled. And I wanted to share it with everybody. So I decided to throw myself. So I decided to throw a party. Everybody was really happy, and then I got my cutie mark. <laughs> In fact, it's kind of crazy how if it wasn't for uh, Rainbow Dash's Sonic Rain Boom, none of you would have gotten your cutie marks or would have came together. That's exactly right. My cutie mark story was quite impressive. <laughs> yeah, I remember your cutie mark story. Yeah, you see, my cutie mark story is when... Well, <laughs> when I was a filly, I really wanted to show off my talent of making clothes. Of making clothes. However, I needed something. My teacher really, really was impressed with my clothes, but it needed some more dazzle. So I was a little bit upset, so I went for a little walk. That's when my horn started reacting to something really, really interesting. So, I let my horn lead me to where it was. And, many days later, it led me to a rock. A rock? Yes, it led me to a rock. I was so mad that... I was really, really mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I really don't blame you. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. I was... Think about it. You spent days and days and days letting your horn guide you somewhere. Along and behold, and all it, all it does is lead you to a rock. It's kind of crazy. Yes. Well, anyway, after when Rainbow Dash did her sonic rain boom, it busted apart the rocks. And, long and behold, inside the rock were gemstones. <laughs> I was really happy, really happy, that I decided to use the gemstones for my dresses. And that's how I got my cutie mark. Aw, well that's really cute. That's really cute. You know, Flame, you never told us how you got your cutie mark. Well, to tell you the truth, um, <laughs> I don't really have a cutie mark story. I really don't have a cutie mark story because... When I first came to Ponyville, I just had my cutie mark already. And no explanation or anything. No explanation or anything. It was just there. I mean, 
I mean, I am really good with fire abilities and stuff, so I guess that's why my cutie mark is, well, fire and stuff. Anyway, hey, Mod, I got a quick question. What is your cutie mark? Because I noticed that you're wearing your uh, dress, but what's your cutie mark? No one has ever, no one has ever seen my cutie mark in years. Sometimes I even forget I even have a cutie mark. Uh, yeah, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Sometimes I forget that I have something that I had for years. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. So, uh, again, Pinky, that was definitely great. Uh, meeting Maude. Um, I think I'm gonna go hang out with the princesses because there's something that I have to go tell Twilight, Celestia, Luna, and Cadence. Alright. And Rarity, I'll see you later on tomorrow, all right? Okay, darling. How about a little kiss before we go, before you go? <laughs> mm. I really enjoy spending time with you, Flame. <laughs> I really enjoy spending time with you too, Rarity. You're definitely amazing. <laughs> well, Pinky, Maud, it was nice, it was nice seeing you guys. <sighs> time to head on out. All right, come on, Rubble. Let's go. You can say bye. You can say bye to Boulder. We'll probably be back one day. <laughs> anyway, come on, Boulder. Let's go. So, what did you think about meeting Flame, Mod? He is quite impressive. Pinky? Yeah? I think I made a mistake on going out with that stick pony. Oh, you mean your boyfriend? Soon to be ex-boyfriend. Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying... I think I'm in love with Flame. Wait, what? I mean, think about it. The pony of my dreams. He can break a rock with just one punch. All my life. I have never seen anyone do that. I'm very impressed. Pinky, do you think you could put in a good word for me? Um... Please, Pinky. For me. Ah, oh, fine. I don't know how Rarity's gonna take this, though.